Design is one area where so many new print on demand sellers struggle. Now, maybe you've never had design experience before and you really just don't know where to start. Or maybe you're good at design, but you find that it's taking you so long to come up with something that looks good enough to sell. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I actually take a concept and then only a few minutes to turn that from a niche idea or a concept all the way to a completed design. I have found personally that in my print on demand business, my profit can grow month after month if I am continually adding and uploading new products. It's really easy to get caught up in all of the other areas of print on demand trying to perfect every little thing, but really the difference between some of the most successful shops and those that just make a few dollars every single month is typically the amount of products they actually have created and uploaded. And if you feel like you are struggling in the design aspect, that can be a big hurdle to overcome. So in this video, I'm going to give you some amazing tools and steps that you can take to make really sellable designs in almost no time. So the first step in this process is always going to be coming up with niche ideas. Now this can be something that also trips a lot of people up. So I have a tool with you guys that I want to share. Now right here I have my downloadable and free cross niching guide. Now, this guide is something that I created because I found that one of the best ways that I could regularly come up with great new ideas is by taking two things like a holiday and maybe a career, putting them together for a really unique sub niche design that actually has demand. So I'm going to show you right now exactly how I use this. So I have pulled up my cross nation guide just on my computer. Now, if you get that free download down below, you can print it off like I did, or you can just browse through it on your computer. So the concept for using this is basically there are a number of different categories that I have with hundreds of different niche ideas. And all you are going to have to do is pick one thing from two categories and put those together. Now, the one that I typically like to start with is going to be holidays. I find that I sell so many holiday themed products every single year. I'm not just selling a generic Merry Christmas design or Happy New Year's design. I am always trying to think of a really unique take, how I can make mine stand out and appeal to a very small audience of people. So for holidays right now, it is April. So when you are designing for print on demand, one mistake I see a ton of new beginners making is they are making items for the immediate holiday that is coming up. So you might be thinking about making stuff for Earth Day because it's April. However, in print on demand, it's really important to be working at least two months in advance. So since it's April right now, we are going to skip all the way forward to June and see what holidays we might want to target. Now, there are some really good ideas here. It's Pride Month coming up. There is Juneteenth, Flag Day. But I think that I am going to do Father's Day today because there are a lot of different ways that you could take crossing a niche like Father's Day. Father's Day and Mother's Day are typically some of my most profitable months, but I'm not just selling generic Father's Day designs, like I said. So you won't see things like Happy Father's Day in my shop, but you're going to find really niche specific items. So I'll show you more about what I mean down below. So really good categories to cross with something like Father's Day would be a career. So right off the bat, we could make a design that was maybe a dentist and Father's Day. So designs for a dad who is a dentist, that could be a fabulous one. Or someone who is maybe a, a lawyer. You could make a great design that is for Father's Day, lawyers, and it doesn't even have to say Father's Day, but something about being a dad or a father is a great thing to add. But I think that I actually want to do something a little bit more fun. I think we can do some great stuff with our designs. So I'm going to go all the way down here, skipping pets, skipping careers. Let's go to hobbies. So I think I want to pick three different hobbies and make a really unique design for each one of those for Father's Day. Now, a lot of times when people don't know what to get someone, they think about the first thing that that person likes to do, and that makes a fabulous gift. And sometimes I think that's the same with Father's Day. Kids maybe grab onto a hobby that their dad has and want to get something for him. So there are tons of different ideas in here. We got reading, writing, painting, photography, baking, singing, knitting, all of those could be potential options, but let's see here. Okay, on this side, we have bird watching, fishing, hunting, 
those all really seem like ones that could definitely go with the Father's Day holiday. So I think I'm going to stick with fishing for this first one. So let's head over to our design suite now and just start talking about how we are actually going to take this from concept all the way to design in just a couple of minutes. All right, so I am over on my design suite, Kittle. Now, if you've never heard of Kittle before, they are a fabulous design tool. You can really create anything you want to sell on print on demand. I personally use them as my design suite pretty much every single day. And one of the things that I love about them is not only is it super easy to use and create designs, but they have phenomenal templates and they have a bunch of new AI features to generate amazing AI images on their platform. So it's really kind of an all-in-one tool that you need. Now, Kittle has also kindly sponsored this portion of today's video. So if you do want to get started with them, I will link all of their information down below. And like I said, I can't recommend them enough. I work with them because I do personally love and use them. And I know so many of you guys do as well. Now, the first thing that I like to do when I am coming to Kittle is I am going to take a look over at their t-shirt templates. Now, over in the top right hand corner, we could create a design all the way from scratch, which sometimes is what I do. But in this video, I said I am talking about how to make really quick professional looking designs and templates are going to be the key to that. So let's go over at templates and we can just quickly browse through some of the ones that are maybe trending right now and see if there's anything that jumps out. But a lot of times what I do like to do is since I know the niche that I kind of want to cross with Father's Day, I'm going to go ahead and just search something like fishing and see what kind of templates come up just with that. All right, so I went ahead and I searched fishing and right away there's already quite a few different templates here. So this one is cute. I like this here. This fish is a really nice one. Let's see, this bear is cute. But I actually think that for the idea that kind of popped in my head when I thought about a Father's Day fishing design, this one here could work really well. It's kind of simple, but it also does something really cool in that it kind of takes the lettering and puts it inside the image, which is something that I love to do and I think looks super cool. And if you're not a great designer, this is an easy way to kind of elevate your designs. Now, this one actually already is technically a fishing and dad design, but I don't really love the phrase that they picked best fishing dad. I mean, it could technically work, but I think I want to do something that's like a little bit more fun and maybe for like a dad that likes puns likes to joke around. So I've seen the phrase before that says something like real cool dad and I think that is definitely one that we could do here. So all I'm going to do to start changing this is just double click on the letters and change it for what I want it to say. So I have real there. I'm going to change fishing to cool and then we'll leave dad there and then we could leave this established here but I think I might just get rid of that. So already we have a really usable, unique, professional looking design here. But one thing that we could do is we could actually go ahead and change the color of this design. So a lot of times my best selling designs are actually going to be on a black t-shirt. So I think that this could do really well on a black shirt. So let's just go ahead and change that. I'm gonna go down over here to the project colors and I'm just gonna click on this blue and change that to black. Now we could do the same thing with the fish. If we wanted it to stand out or be another color, we could go ahead and change that as well. That yellow is really cool, but I think maybe a green could be super cool too. So let's see here. I think like this light green, I'm really loving that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and resize this to take up a little bit more of the canvas, maybe be a little bit closer towards the top here. All right, and then once that is looking good, I'm actually gonna show you how you can not only see what this is going to look like on a shirt, but actually make mock-ups right here on Kittle. So let's go over here to where it says mock-ups in the top right hand corner. And it's going to show you here what this is actually going to look like printed on a t-shirt, but you could also go ahead and put it on someone as well. Now, I really like how that turned out. I think that that would make a fabulous Father's Day present for somebody who loves fishing. So let's go back to the editor and go ahead and save this. So to go ahead and download your design, all you're going to do is go over to the download settings and then you're going to make sure that it is in pixels and that it is going to be at least 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That's typically the dimensions that I like. And then going to remove that background and download. Now, once we're done with that, we can go ahead and head back over to Kittle's templates so we can start working on our next idea. Now, the next hobby that I really wanted to do for Father's Day this year is one that is super 
super popular. Even though people have been playing this for a couple years now that it's been super popular, it seems like pickleball shirts are still not going anywhere anytime soon. So I think making a pickleball dad shirt could be a fabulous idea. So let's go ahead and actually look through their templates here and see if they have any that would be good for us to use for Father's Day. All right, they have a few cute options. This one is super cute with that little pickleball with a face here. This one is kind of fun. I like this, just kind of a little bit more basic with some lettering. I think that could work really, really well. So let's try out this one. All right, so I think the phrase that I want to do for this design is one that I've seen do super well and tons of other like hobby type designs, but it's the phrase that is says something like pickleball dad, like a regular dad, but cooler. So I think that could be fabulous for a design like this that has a lot of text on it. So let's go ahead and start changing some of this text. So I changed that first one to pickleball, and then I'm gonna change this to dad and we'll see how that looks. And let's do like here, and then we can do regular dad, like a regular dad, and then only cooler for this last line. All right, so we went ahead and changed the text here. Now all we're gonna do is start kind of playing around with the placement to make sure that everything is formatted correctly. So thankfully, since that word here where we now have dad, it was already arched like that. When we inserted the new word, we didn't have to adjust anything, which is super nice. So let's make this pickleball just a little bit bigger here. And then I think the like A, we could even make a little bit smaller, but I think that's looking good so far. And then regular dad, let's make sure that is centered. And then only cooler, I think we can go ahead and make that as big as the regular dad. I think that would look good. And actually, I think I might bring this stuff down here so we can see the like A just a little bit better. I might actually change this L to lowercase instead. I think that's looking really good. And then I really like my designs to take up the full canvas and print area. So I'm going to go ahead and resize that to be all the way to the top and bottom here and then make sure that is centered. Let's see. Let's look at these layers here. I might get rid of that texture just so it maybe prints a little bit more cleanly, but let's go ahead and see how that looks. All right. I am really looking at how this looks on the mock-up here. Let's try it out even on a tank top. This is definitely a design that would work really well on maybe some kind of sports clothing or tank top. Those are also really great sellers for Father's Day. So that looks really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the editor and then we can download this again. All right, so this is already in pixels, but I am gonna go ahead and change this to 4,500. And then that is going to adjust the height as well, just to make it more pixels, better resolution. We're gonna go ahead and remove the background and then download that. All right, and I'm gonna head back one more time to my cross nation guide to just pick out our next hobby that we're gonna want to cross with dads. All right, so in this hobby section, there are quite a few different options here and there's even another page as well. So like mountain biking is really cool, rock climbing, scuba diving, all fabulous holidays. Let's see here, running, cycling. Actually, I think I really want to do camping. That is a great one. So let's go back over to Kittle and start thinking if we can make a design like this. Okay, so once again, I'm on Kittle. I'm just gonna go ahead and search camping here and see what templates it has. Ooh, these are super fun. This is really cool. If you had some text that you really wanted to use, that is a cool design there. You could just change that out. This is fun if you were kind of a van camper, that could be a great idea. Let's see here. I think the phrase that I want to use maybe has a little bit more text. So I want to find one that has a decent amount of area for text. I like that this one has a lot of text. I think this is the one I'm going to go ahead and use. So let's click on that and start working on it. All right, so the phrase that I think I want to use is something that I saw for another type of niche, but I thought it could work really well for camping. And it's something like my favorite campers or my favorite camping buddies call me dad. So I think that could be really cute and kind of a nod to taking your kids on some adventures. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this out here. So I did my favorite camping buddies, and then I'm gonna do call me on this line right here, and then dad for this line. All right, in this one, I definitely want to adjust a lot of the spacing. So let's go ahead and make sure we have dad being quite a bit bigger because this is the really important part of this design. So let's move that down here. And then I do actually kind of like these dots. So I think I'm gonna move these as well. So let's go ahead and just move them down here. And then call me, we can also make maybe as big as the bottom of this design here. So that's looking good. And let's actually move everything up to the top so we have some more room to work with. 
And then let's make dad just a little bit bigger. All right, so this, I wanted to make a little bit bigger so we could read this text a bit easier. But then you notice it kind of messes up the circle that it had. So all we're gonna have to do is click this edit transform and then we can make this circle smaller. So let's do that until it looks good. So let's move this bottom one here and adjust the sides until we're happy with how that looks. And then it's just a little bit easier to read the text. Now we could also even make it a little bit bigger if we felt that it still was a bit hard to read. So let's just do that one more time and then adjust this transform. So we're just gonna move this dot here. That's one thing I really do love about Kittle is if you're not like super skilled at warping text or doing really unique designs, it has everything you need to already do that. All right, so now that that looks good, let's just make this take up a bit more of the canvas here. Make sure it's all centered. And then we can see what this would look like on a mock-up. I have a feeling it's going to look really cool. It's a great image here. All right, that looks great. And I was worried that that text might be a little hard to read, but actually when it's on the shirt, I think it's definitely readable there. And we can go see what it was like on another product. So this could even work on a hoodie. A lot of people like to camp and it's a little bit more chilly in the evening. So hoodies make a great camping gift. So that looks really fun. Let's go back to the editor and go ahead and download that design. So we're gonna go to our download settings. We're gonna make sure it's in pixels, make sure it's at least 4,500, and then go ahead and remove that background and download. Now all of those designs we made in just a couple minutes and Kittle has thousands of other templates that you can simply do the same thing. So that's really something I love to do. If I have an idea, I just go over to Kittle and see if there's anything that fits really well with that. And just by changing out a few words, you have a completely unique design that you can use and sell on print on demand. So if you've never tried them out before, you can get started with them. They both have a free plan and a monthly subscription that you can do that has some more features. And make sure you grab my free cross nation guide down below as well. And if you want even more ideas for how you can do a similar thing, but using AI generated images to make a completely unique design, make sure you watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.